All right, guys, welcome back to Shot to the Nog episode, I don't know, six? Let's go with six. <laughs> yeah, uh, guys, so, oh, bruh. So today's topic is a little, you know, a little uh, entertainment based. Um, I was, I've always been a fan of how martial arts and movies <laughs> Yo, unplug it from the from the speaker because it's so far and no one can hear it. He's got actually it's not bad. Maybe bring the speaker here. Yeah, we got our we got our sound effects, but he's plugged into the speaker and it's in the other room, so it's like ah, you can't really hear anything. But like I was saying, right? Um, I've always been a fan of martial arts and movies, and if we if we take a look at the the, the martial arts back in the day and stuff. <laughs> Oh, that's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> so loud. Jesus Christ. Wait, hit one again. Yours are better than mine. <laughs> nah, I don't like that. You know why? Because listen to mine, right? Mine is so... I want this one. Why is it terrible? Yours are... You're high def. My... F my and his name is John C. Yours, yours is so much better. I'm going to unplug you. Fuck that. Be upstage my long ass sounds. Try to upstage me with, with high definition sound on the soundboard. Okay, no, listen. So, like, what the f hell was I talking about? Right, movies. So, uh, we're movie fans. Back in the day, yes, huge, huge martial huge arts was, was what? It was the top, it was ninja stuff, karate stuff, kung fu, kung fu stuff. Boy. <laughs> and that was pretty much it, right? It was just that. It was nothing more than that. Every movie, even the big, big movies, like action flicks, it was karate fights, kind of, where this, like, who's, who's a star? Here, I, I, I always used to love uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, because he, he was always, a, he was a one-punch guy, Oh, right? yes. He would always, he would hit one guy one time, and they would drop, or he'd grab them and throw them off cliffs, or... That's true, that was, that was... Uh, uh, yeah, like in Running Man, one of my favorite scenes, he's got Sully, he's like, Sully, remember when I said I'd kill you last, I lied, and then he throwed him off the cliff? <laughs> but he, he was a one-hit guy. But yeah. every now and then, like somebody would throw a punch at him, he'd catch the punch, <laughs> overhook it, and break their arm like <laughs> jiu-jitsu that we teach. That's true. And I was always fascinated by that, because it was... And he always made those weird sounds, like, huh? yeah, you know, with... <laughs> yeah. He'd always make those weird sounds every shot. And, and, and like, I was always intrigued by that. But, of course, we got to look back at Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris and St <laughs> and a little later on, Steven Seagal and, yes. um, hell, Jeff freaking Speakman. Remember Jeff Speakman, oh, the perfect he was, weapon? I, when he with came the out, sticks? Yeah. I think he was doing Kali or some shit. Yeah, he screamed at Kali. It was crazy. Yeah, and, da, 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 da. Yeah, and, and it was, uh, I got the power. That freaking <laughs> song. It, it was some of the best <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah, it was getting kind of hectic. But, um, uh, that was a terrible joke. So... Um. Yeah. So all of those movies incorporated a lot of <laughs> incorporated a lot of striking stuff, right? Yeah. Right. And nowadays, uh, thanks to freaking John Wick and even Fast and the Furious, oh they started God. improving. John Wick, one of my favorite movies. Yeah. They started incorporating a lot of grappling, a lot of jujitsu. John Wick is freaking throwing arm bars and like blowing people's heads Face, off. I love it. Yeah, it's I love cool it. shit, so right? Modern ninja. And, and 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 I was thinking about it, like how much training you think Keanu Reeves went through to that? And I think I googled it, and he went through a couple months of training. But the thing about it, after his movie, he kept training. After the Kung Fu. Remember he even said in the, in the Matrix, he goes, I know Jiu-Jitsu. Right, right. Well, yeah. Talk um, about it's irony. probably Japanese, or, but not Brazilian, I don't think. <laughs> it, it, wasn't a, uh, it wasn't really, they didn't say that. But nowadays, it's very much prominent in movies, and celebrities are doing it. A and lot of celebrities are doing the it. The Machado has also started way back in the day. Right. Vegas. Regan, John Jacques. Yeah. His brother John was actually in a movie wow. that incorporated Jiu Jitsu, which well, I won't recommend to anyone because it's a piece of crap movie. <laughs> and the Grace is also the, with this uh, Lethal Weapon. Ah, Lethal Weapon. Okay, let's go right there because that's so kind of where, where. Guys, let's start right there, right? Okay. Lethal Weapon 1. If you haven't seen it, Mel Gibson, Danny Glover. Great Christmas movie. Mm. Christmas is right around the corner. Good go point. watch that and then watch Die Hard. Or, you know, whatever order you want, right? And then, you know, Elf. Yeah, Elf. <laughs> Elf is a good Christmas movie. Um, Santa! <laughs> Jingle All the Way with Schwarzenegger. Yes. Right? <laughs> Just really bad Christmas movies. So, yeah, um, in, in Lethal Weapon, 
um, Hoy, uh, Horian Gracie yeah. was uh, like one of the lead uh, tactical technicians. And he actually advisors. did a cameo. He did a quick, yeah. brief cameo in the garage when they were doing scenes. Right. And he did the armbar. Yeah, he's, and, and, and the crazy thing, without spoiling it, if you haven't seen Lethal Weapon, God damn you, what are, where have you been? Are <laughs> Come you out of the rock, you're on yeah, there. Yeah, please. And then open the cave door. <laughs> um, in the last scene of the movie, Mel Gibson throws in a triangle, catches a triangle. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So um, Mel Gibson throws in a triangle, and and like as a as a young fella watching that, I'm like amazed. We, we, but you know, you look at the technique. It does. You don't realize that, that it was jujitsu at the time. You I don't. Know, I, well, I don't. I, I didn't it was recognize like, what the anything hell did he at all. Squeeze his head with your legs. That's, that's what, what I was thinking. I'm like, dude, this dude is so insane. Because that's what you're thinking. His head with his legs. <laughs> he used his legs to kill a guy, yeah. right? And, 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 and it makes it, sense. Though. It was insane. It was it was pretty cool. I thought, and and I and another thing about that is, I believed he also kept training sporadically. Uh, Mel Gibson did. Yeah, yeah, because there's he's, there's a lot of pictures on Instagram. Regan Machado posts a lot of pictures of of him. At, By the way, uh, going back to Arnold. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what he blocked the damn arm with. He blocked the punch and. Uh, and then, and then you would hear the arm snap, and then the guy would drop because apparently, if you break the guy's arm, his neck follows. Yeah. Right. Uh, and and oh, I'll talk about neck breaks in a minute with Steven Seagal, but forget that. Oh, so gosh. with with Lethal Weapon, that kind of was the first time it was seen, but nobody knew what was happening. You know, he's an ex-military guy, a Vietnam vet. So you're thinking, oh, that's some crazy military. I training. love the movie concept. I gotta yeah, say, love great. Lethal Weapon. I love that he was like, his, he was gonna kill himself. He was suicidal. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. also uh, uh, at that time was such a Christmas feel good movie. Yeah, no, but it was. I love that. <laughs> The fucking jingle, so, jingle all the way, jingle, jingle, jingle. And it then he's like, like, he's got the gun well, to his that's mouth. That's my point. It was like, it was Christmas time, and this guy had lost the love of his life. Oh, it's such a great so, Christmas movie. You know, I said, we watched it every year. Wanted to, he wanted to shoot himself, yeah, but he, had the bullet he was looking out. for a reason to live every day. I, you know, dude, I think that was, I, I think that was really well written, yeah. in my opinion, for that time. No, it was. It was, was, it was a great movie. The, everything. When he slid out of the house and escaped, yeah. and the whole thing. I love I love Mel Gibson, regardless of his beliefs and shit. You know, actually, I can't say that. He's anti-Semitic, whatever. I don't really care. I just love the movies he made I yeah. don't really don't you know follow what he does right other than the fact that he changed jiu-jitsu that's pretty much all I know about him oh and he did and Passion he does, of the right? Christ it was the worst oh man let me just go off on a tangent here right that's a segment in the in the show we should have off on a tangent yo I yes. went to see Passion of the Christ in the theater it was the worst decision I ever made right really that was movie. it was not yeah. even it was, you can't even call it a movie it was just Jesus getting tortured from the for, for, for yeah. 90% of the movie Yo, at the end of that movie, I remember the lights came on. Yo, nobody, first of all, before Marvel ever showed up, you would <laughs> you wait in the theater because you know there's going to be uh, end credit scenes, right? Post credit <laughs> scenes, right? Usually, you sit in the theater, you know, Avengers Infinity War ends, you're like, oh, wow, that was insane. And then you're waiting for the, you know, oh, there's the Captain Marvel uh, teaser, right? Yeah. Back in the day, there was none of that. People, <laughs> usually when the movie ended, after it said directed by, boom, people were out. Right, but right. Yeah, yeah. At the end of that movie, Passion of the Christ, bro. There were very few movies that did that. There were at, that you waited to the end. Really few, though. Yeah. And they were usually like some trippy movies. And, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. The, but this is my point, right? We were, and I was in that theater. I think uh, I, it was a day off. I don't. I forget what two thousand whatever. I had I had the day off. I was working in corrections. That day off. Ah, my. That was my life at that point. I was um, my entertainment was to go watch Passion of the Christ. Because <laughs> my One time or a few times? It, was, it was an off day. No, I, I mean like like an off day as a correction officer. You do one of three things: a you sleep, right. b you do whatever it is you can't do on a regular basis, and Laundry d cooking. you eat. Yeah, you go eat. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I said. Hmm. I got nothing to do. Man. I'm not hungry. I'm going to go watch Passion of the Christ. I hear things. So I went, saw this movie, sitting in the theater, end of the movie, it's quiet, right? Yeah. Then one guy goes, what the fuck was that? <laughs> After the credits rolled, everybody oh could God. not get out of their chair. The lights shot? came on. Yo, no. Nobody would. It was just well, blank faces at the end of that movie. I, I think the thing about 
it's it's uh, the perspective. I think that he had it, he got, he took a lot of heat for that movie even before the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, he pretty much he made said, it up to Jew, he "Yeah, made it like Jews the Jews killed like, Jesus." Yeah, yeah. It was bad. So it wasn't okay. I remember that. Yeah, I don't, I, but and I think it, it, it explains if he is if he is anti-Semitic. Oh, yeah, he why it. he would be. <laughs> <laughs> but it explains why. Yeah. But I think. But he he's had, also a heavy drinker, he knew, so maybe. Right. <laughs> if he knew also more about what really happened. Yeah. It was it was more that it was written obviously and yeah, that yeah, it, yeah. that it's it's sure. uh this, it's called the Pharisees. There was the one that was going after him all along. It's right. the whole point of it all, meaning the whole crucified movie, everything is that uh, he was trying to prove a point about religion. Right, Even right, Jesus right. himself, when he died, he was right. trying to say, "Don't be religious, right. just have a relationship." Yeah. Anyway, that being said, all right. So uh, that's the tangent I, we went off on. Yeah. We were talking about Mel Gibson yeah. doing jujitsu. <laughs> now, I I don't believe he trains regularly, but he does. He's off and on, right? I think he yeah, stopped yeah. by because I've seen a lot of pictures with Regan and him. And he's got a rash guard on, and he's you know he's I got like his sweat. Yeah, that's cool. it's really cool. So it's, it's it's interesting how nowadays, and I'm talking about let's let's talk about the the last ten years. Celebrities have been doing jujitsu, but publicly they've been expressing that hey, I train jujitsu, and with social media, Instagram. You know, it's funny because crazy. It's good. as a trainer too, I'm realizing all the top, especially we love, we're superhero fans. We love yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Marvel and DC movies. Yeah. I'll teach and, any 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 actor out there that wants to yeah. learn cool <laughs> shit to get but into Marvel. I'll help you. I've noticed as when I was just recently in 2000, now in 2000, in 2018, that I was when I was studying, I researched the kind of training that all these, at least the superheroes, went through for their physiques. Right. And, uh, anywhere from the 300 down to Aquaman. You right, know what right, I mean? Right. Uh, Superman, Batman, all of the training yeah. that they did yeah, yeah. and Thor. one thing yeah <laughs> Thor especially Thor yeah. he did a lot of uh, uh, I mean uh, Aquaman did a lot of rock climbing he did right, a lot right, of right. There's, there is the weight training there's a lot of cast tanks with weight training but what I know one thing that is consistent even in their training I notice is either is a martial arts now it's not just the cross training now isn't just weights and, and interval training up and yeah. down you know a, a cardio a isometrics but yeah. they actually incorporated martial arts especially kickboxing and jiu jitsu and you know what's crazy about that? Because back in the day, if you knew karate, you could be an action superstar, right? That's Even true. you could be a shit actor. And get through like right? Right? No, no, no. Van Damme, right? John Claude Van Damme. Right, no, yeah. Ballerina, but a hell of a kickboxer. <laughs> right? Karate, yeah. black belt. I don't know what yeah. he does, right? But he made it because his shit was legit. He could kick cool, he could yeah. do these flying spinning kicks. He, the physique helped too. Yeah, and but this is this is how it happened, right? He's probably training since a young age, and a lot of the famous martial arts actors started young and grew up and became act, like Jackie Chan. He grew mm. up in martial arts. Jet Legend. Li started Legend. as a kid, yeah. right? All of these guys started, and 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 it was hard, like as a Schwar as Schwarzenegger, you're not gonna start learning karate, right? He doesn't need to. You're not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> even though, even though. When he did Conan, he learned Japanese sword. Right, right. right. He learned sword that. fighting, but that's yeah. not as intense as learning an entire martial art. That's true. You just got to... <laughs> right? That's him swinging the sword, being all happy. Right? He, he did train with his, his kendo guy. I remember right, yeah, but that. but that's that's all just mimic, mimic, mimic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And karate yeah, he, It's not same. like he sparred a yeah. fort with using that. Right? Karate, you're off a second, you can hurt the other person. Even if you're trying to throw a... a, a punch to the nose. A, a faint train. punch, right? Yeah. You're trying to throw it where the it's camera all over catches YouTube. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all over YouTube. People yeah, yeah, trying to kick cans yeah. of other people's yeah. heads. Even Van Damme. Van Damme got sued for kicking a guy in the head in that movie uh, Cyborg, was he it? Did? Yeah, and he, he really the guy's blind. There was a couple blind. Yeah, back in the nineties, he kicked the guy in the head. The guy's claimed blindness. With boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did like that famous spinning bat spinning kick, kick in the rain. Because why is his every kick in the rain? Split rain. Yeah, yeah, it's like wow like for dramatic effects. Yeah. The water slow motion and the wet everywhere. muscles. That's I think disgusting that's disgusting. That's what that's you for just those said. Women. It's terrible. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. Oh, how are you? You don't got a sound effect for that? You have to manually do it. <laughs> Good lord, man! What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, terrible. Right? You know, I used to make fun of Van Damme too. When I used to spar and play with my friends. Hold on, let it finish. <laughs> let it finish. <laughs> Let's go party. Ah, 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 ah. That's a long oh one. Yo, it's still going. <laughs> it's the whole song. Oh, okay. There it is. That's awesome. So we used to make fun of uh, uh, Jean Claude. Jean Claude. And then I used to play with my friends. They said, "So you're a martial artist," and they would do shit, and I would like end up doing like some trapping movement, da, 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 and hit the body shots, and then go. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the fucking, yeah, the, the like slow <laughs> scream with the eyes like yeah. wide open, like Because someone just threw salt in them. Yeah, and yeah, you can't see. yeah. I used to do that. I used to then go. Looking extra special. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's 
<laughs> right. So in, in those days, you, you no one wanted to learn new stuff. So they just kind of went with what they had. Schwarzenegger had his muscles and his, you know, his great one-liners. Yeah. All day. <laughs> and that's famous, right? And then you had the martial artists and, and doing all the martial arts movies. So you, you never saw, you never really saw, like, even, no, and Stallone was different, man. Stallone. Yeah, Stallone. Because well, he started with the boxing. Shit. Yo, first blood. He, he does a boxing. fucking scissor like takedown on a guy. And you know what's funny? That a lot of people don't realize about Stallone that I just, I actually recently realized this. Yeah. He did his own stunts with the boxing. Yes, he did. He, he he choreographed Rocky yeah, one and two. He yeah. did all of them. And he everything. did the whole spinning and everything, yeah. like the punches. And in he Rambo, that first, if you go punches. back in First Blood, he's doing a lot of grappling. He does a yeah. overhead, uh, over the shoulder yeah, throw. Yeah. He slides in in some water, takes the guy down with his legs, like yeah, a, like was, a, yeah, like a trip up. Cool so yeah, he was one that went out and actually learned to do stuff. But most guys, I I, I, would, I don't think they would do that. They would just be what they were good at. Nowadays. John Wick, everyone's learning jujitsu, right? And I got a list of, uh, I'm not going to go through all of them. There's 58 <laughs> that I have here on hand, but I'm just going to go through some of the most famous ones. One that sticks out on this list is Ed Goddamn O'Neill. Freaking Al Bundy from Married with He's Children. He's the originator, I he think. He started I him the way Godfather back. Godfather of celebrity jujitsu. He guys. started jujitsu before jujitsu was cool. Yes, he did. Yes, right? he did. And he's a black belt now. And he was training with Horian Gracie for an eternity, man. He's always been. <laughs> And he's always been he's in the with game. The old man too. He's, he trained with all of them. Yeah, he's he, been, he watched he, the, the brothers grow up. He's been in the game, and, and, and that's really cool. And he yeah. like he didn't publicize it because he didn't care. He just loved to train, and that was cool, right? Yeah. And another great name, Chuck Goddamn Norris. Chuck Norris. Machados, right? Machados. Yeah. yeah. He, he said he had a story about how he he, he did a, a role with Elio. Elio put him to sleep, changed his life. Yeah, changed yeah. his life. And then he started training with with um with the Machados. I think recently he got his third degree on his black belt, which is pretty cool. Ooh, yeah, so he, he's been Jesus, training since back then. He's been training. So if he was not, if he wasn't a badass back then, he is now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean I wouldn't mess with Chuck Norris either way. I love Chuck Norris. Man. Yeah, I've I've loved all his movies. Um, yeah, fucking Chuck Norris, man. That guy, you know. <laughs> ask him how many push-ups he does. He says all of them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, another famous uh, jujitsu guy, Paul Walker. Right from Fast and the Furious, oh, he recently died. Died, yeah. he died. I think it was five years ago. He died, right? Was well, yeah, it purple when he died or something? No, he was a brown belt. He got his oh, black right. belt high. on his on his funeral. Yeah. He was just driving his fast car and crashed. That's Crazy. how. That's how he died. Talk about irony, though. Yeah, man. and he actually wanted to. He was actually working on making a film that was based with jujitsu. He wanted to because he wanted people to know jujitsu is amazing. That would have been phenomenal. And he wanted to put right? it out there. Yeah, and he actually does some jujitsu in some of the Fast and the Furious. I think he catches a triangle on. Uh, What's his name? Vin Diesel, who actually also trains, but not regularly, but he trains. Yeah. Uh, the Rock too, I hear. Yeah, yeah. You know, everybody's recently, training it. Recently, everybody's training it because yeah. they want they want that extra piece. Because because if it's better, you got stunt doubles. But if they can get that close up of you doing that excellent maneuver, but it gives you that status. It that's why Tom that. Cruise does all his crazy, insane stunts. A lot of people yeah. don't like Tom Cruise because he's a midget and he's a Scientologist. But oh, did I just insult people? Sorry, he's no, a man. he's a half link, right? <laughs> did I do it again? Sorry. <laughs> I'm one to talk. I'm five foot nothing. All right. I'm legally a midget, right? Legally a short person. Sorry. Right. So Tom Cruise, he he learns how to fly a jet. He freaking he. Well, he, he got money like he has money too. But can, but but he does it. He's, bro, he's he's fifty plus and he's doing yeah. his own stuff. He looks good though. Because he cross. knows he knows there's people out there that can do the same thing he does acting wise. Oh, of course, it's competitive. But his edge is that hey, I do my own stunts and you can get a close up of me and you don't gotta digitize these. Weird well, not faces. the major stunts like jumping off a building, dude. Out of the airbag, no. In the last Mission Impossible, there's a scene where he's on the side of a plane. They strapped him to that plane and that's him on that plane. Wow. It's crazy. He's insane with that shit. So it's now becoming a big deal to be able to do your own stunts safely. And jujitsu is, is one of those martial arts that looks cool and you can be safe with it. You're not going to get injured unless you're doing a flying armbar and you land on your head, right? Which is, you know, whatever. But um, another great, another great, for you fans out there that like rock music, uh, the band Poison, Ricky Rocket. Yo. Their drummer does jujitsu, black belt. Wow. I, you know. Sean Patrick Flannery, right? He he was in Boondock Saints, right? It was freaking da uh, what's his name, Daryl from uh, uh, I forget his name uh, from Walking Dead. Is it Daryl? Oh, Daryl, that's him. Yeah, he's just younger in that movie. What? And and the other guy, the other guy in Boondock Saints, Sean Patrick, he has a school. He actually teaches jujitsu. No way. Yeah, he's actually on the wow. DVD for the 2009 or 2010 Worlds. I forget which one. He does commentary on that. Wow. Like he's calling the fight. 
it, 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 what's another one? Ashton Kutcher. That is interesting. Ashton Kutcher. I believe he's even a purple belt now. Wow. And he trains. He trains regularly. You always see him with Regan. And it's all funny the because that makes me also think like, what? What? These people out of all of these people, they have, there's also. In jiu-jitsu, they have expressions like there's a blue belt and then there's a blue belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, here's, wonder... here's, here's a tidbit. He's not on this list, but I know for a fact, Justin Bieber, he's a blue belt. Yeah, oh, <laughs> there you go. I, I, I'd like him to roll with Dylan. I want to see right. how that would go. Right. Well, you see, that's what <laughs> Dylan I'm is my henchbeast. Because if they're doing private, Hell, they're not doing group that. classes. I want him to sure. roll with my daughter, who's my other hench beast. She's there just the go. quiet one. There She's also a blue belt. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know what it is? I Shoot, think... I'll put him even with Yashira, the white belt. Yeah, oh, yeah. She's killed. She's a blue belt hunter. Casadora de Flash yes. Azul. Uh, here's the thing, though. You can't listen. We're not disrespecting anyone. We're just saying there's blue belts. Unless uh, Justin Bieber can do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 I'm mind. having an Eddie Murphy we, moment. Like, we, what's he gonna do? Like, he's gonna walk. Mike Tyson in. go <laughs> punch <laughs> <it in. laughs> No, so uh, yeah, we don't want Mike Tyson coming here. I mean, no, unless no, he wants no. to train, we'll give him free classes. Uh, somebody, and I have to wear my ear guards. Let the <laughs> yeah, you're terrible. <laughs> what if he does show up and then he actually? I can't to bite your ears. Yeah, what do you mean you want ear guards? <laughs> you want oh, ear guards? I don't like ear guards. What's that mean? I'll knock you out. This is terrible impressions of Mike Tyson. <laughs> yes, that's um, uh, no, I understand what you're saying. Like even even regular Joes, right? There's people that train Mondays and Fridays only, and they've been doing it for ten years. And that's well, they can hang, they can yeah, do thing. but they're they're not like the blue belt that trains every day, competes every tournament, right? That's so, a, right, and that's, that's not that's, that's something I never do. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's just yeah. different, you know. And that's why yeah. you know I gotta take that back. And I don't mean it in a negative way. Yeah. I mean when they say that there's a saying in, right. that there are blue belts and the blue belt, but still it's a blue belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, the work like you put in, day one you versus day now you. That's how I, I measure. It. That's how you should measure it yourself. Right? Yeah. Uh, I agree with that one because you know the scale is. Yeah. And now, for example, there's also. I'm at a point I've been doing it long enough to say there's which era you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying yeah. like there's 90s right. me right. there's 2000 right. and then there's a recent yeah, you know yeah, the yeah. last two you know what I'm saying for like sure, it's nuts sure. it's like uh, you know it's been a long time yeah yeah absolutely uh, here's a good one Keanu Reeves we were just talking about him yeah, I like him I like, he looks good I, in movies I love yeah. I love that he trains and I hope that he continues to train because I wouldn't yeah. mind one day well, seeing him sounds like he is he yeah. sounds like he sounds dead serious, yeah. like and he's, he's the kind of guy that doesn't quit things. What's his name that date that dated the or the singer, the comedian, the comedian, the skinny, the, the dark hair guy that dated the pop star with the acne issues? Uh, Jessica Simpson? Not her. That's the other one. Oh, the one that uh, like a is this a lollipop song? I don't know what it's what it is. Lollipop. It's been a while. Anyway, Lil Wayne? No. <laughs> Not that kind of pop song. Um, guys out there, help me out with this one. Uh, what is it? What is her name? Uh, Demi Lovato? Not her. Even though she trains. Yeah, she, she's her. on the list. She's and she actually I like enjoy watching her uh, go, go through the system. Like, he yeah. I think that's gonna hip. overall help her because she has her issues, yeah, and yeah, I think yeah, Jiu-Jitsu yeah. will send to her. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully. She well, she was already training right. when she had the issues. Yeah. Now, but, but who the hell are you talking about? I have no idea who you're talking I about. Forgot. I, I forgot. I don't, she seems like kissed a girl. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, Katy Perry. Yes, Katy Perry. I remember who she was. Russell Crowe. Russell Brand. Russell Brand, whatever his name is. Yeah, he no, was... is insane Stay with it. into it. Yo, yeah. guys, go out, f uh, follow Russell Brand on Instagram. Yeah. He big ups yes. jiu-jitsu. He recently got his ear drained. He had cauliflower ear, That's and he just got it drained. That's the one that surprised the crap out of me. Yeah. Him out of all and he's, he's really smart when he talks. Uh, yeah. he, he, like, he makes you listen to what he's saying, which is really cool. Yeah, Russell Brand, he's, is he on this list? He's probably not on this list because he's fairly new. This list is a little old. But it's been, I've been listening to him. He's a white belt. He says he loves to get his ass beat. He says the dynamic of it, everything is just oddly satisfying considering that you're and, getting destroyed. And I love how he talked about how we all have that that moment we just want to beast out. Right, right. right, ever, right. Uh, listen to him talk about that? Yeah, that was impressive. Course. I was yeah, like, look yeah. at this freaking guy. Yeah. And I've always known that to make, to be really good at comedy, you got to understand tragedy. Right, right. So it makes sense. Yeah. I think it makes sense Which that is he cool. would be connected like that. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Bourdain, unfortunately, we lost him this year. His the TV chef was on uh, No Borders with Anthony Bourdain. Oh. Blue Belt. He trained at, um, I think, with Igor Gracie. Wow. He's changed his life. Uh, unfortunately, his life ended. Um, wow. But that's another story. We're not going to get into that. Uh, but he lost weight. He actually went out and competed at the New York Open, and he won. He, wow. he really put himself into that. And that's the beauty of jiu-jitsu. You could be a freaking millionaire, and you find something so simple 
that makes you humble and makes you understand, yo, I make a shitload of money, but these guys out here coming every day, training their butts off, going to work, you know, making pizzas or, or, or you know, uh, cleaning tables or fixing cars or whatever the regular Joe does, yeah. they can go to a mat, be on the mat with a million dollar guy who's on TV every day yeah. and, and have a conversation and not feel this... You're a big rich guy. Right. I'm and they a nobody. Both tap each other out yeah. and talk each other out. And then out. you find this Be center, funny. this center that jujitsu, jujitsu folk. Uh, the gentle art. Yeah, and but it's a common bond amongst many people. That's why I wish more people would train, man. Oh, try it. Yeah, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. One of my. Where the hell is my Tom freaking Hardy guys? <laughs> Do you have power over me? <laughs> I mean, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. I love Tom Hardy, right? Um, he was Bane? He was. Oh. Again. Okay, well, we got my issues with that movie. So a yeah. British accent. <laughs> yet on a Spanish guy. I'm Mexican. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. So ne Never made sense. <laughs> Impossible to understand. Oh. Yet. <laughs> we miss Paulina. <laughs> I can do the entire show oh. this way. Hello. It seems like an intelligent really? idea. Maybe I should give the show back oh to God. you, the people. <laughs> Can we do a show in character? I want to do a show <laughs> in character. I want to go. We, guys, we want to do a show. I want to do a show where I'm doing Macho Man, the whole thing. <laughs> we have no time macho, to tell you to do that. <laughs> Yo, what if, what if Macho Man meets Bane? Yeah! Macho Man, Randy Savage, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Let me tell you something, Mr. With Bane. Glasses? Your glasses are very large oh, and bright. Thank you very much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were probably going to end up doing that. <laughs> that is great. Oh, my God. We're just retarded. We're special. Oh, I shouldn't say retarded. I am so tired of PC, but that's another Oh, uh, this political correctness. I'm, is listen, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm from an era where, where I got teased a lot, so I kind of grew this tough skin. <laughs> And I was called all these weird things, and it's, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah just for the record, I'm a spick, whatever. Yeah, we are. That's me. <laughs> Deep down inside. I'm so hungry. Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Oh. Right? From Dodgeball, from yeah. so many great movies. I don't know why Dodgeball popped into my head, knowing he's been in so many other. <laughs> Wedding Crashers. I love Dodgeball, to be honest. Um, but Wedding <laughs> Crashers, he's started, he's, he's been in and off of it, uh, which is cool. I think, and he trains with, uh, with Hedon and Henner, which is cool. Oh, that's groovy. Um, uh, uh, Mel Gibson, uh, Ice-T, I'm not even sure if that's real, but apparently Ice-T trains jujitsu and boxing. Apparently Jim Carrey has started training. I actually, yes. Which I is actually, really I, I, cool. I have him on my Instagram and, and yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, Jason Statham, uh, who's an uh, Olympic well, he's, swimmer. He's an athlete, super athlete. He's done uh, Wing Chun, I heard, Kung Fu, kar uh, Karate, Kickboxing. And he uh, apparently, I'm not sure about these facts, are facts. Most of the time, if I'm reading it off the internet, probably not real. But let's just go with it for the show, goddammit. Uh, apparently, he's a purple belt. Mm. I'd like to see uh, I'd like to see footage of that if anyone knows yes. where I can find it. Nicholas Cage apparently trains uh, uh, from time to time with Hoist Gracie, which is mm. funny. I'd love to hear I'd like. I'd like to sit... And listen to them talk. Um, <laughs> that would be interesting. Joe Rogan, of course, we know. Oh, black, yeah. High level black belt. Yeah. With, uh, with Under Eddie Bravo. Oh, yeah. Uh, One of the, I got to give him the love and prime, for pioneering. I actually like uh, what he's done. Yeah. I think when he crossed over and, and came into and started pushing and, and, and sticking up for the UFC back in the days when right. it was uh, suffering yeah. politically, yeah. I got to give him it's the love. It's funny. He was, a, he was a Taekwondo instructor yeah. way before anything. And then yeah. he, he knew he was not going to make money. He's, then he became a comedian. Yeah, and then and then he, which is it was funny. I watched this show. Yeah, and I, I and then the kick. He's got some good cases. He's good man. He knows yeah. his stuff. He's got good Muay Thai kicks. He's got good yeah. uh, uh, Taekwondo kicks. Yeah, he's uh, pretty strong man. He's, yes, he's, he's a solid guy. And jiu jitsu game. He's up there. Uh, Usher apparently also trains. Oh. Uh, he Sorry. apparently he trained with Andre Galvao. And oh he's boy. personal friends with Anderson Silva, which under, uh, I can understand because Anderson Silva is a bit of a dancer. I don't know if you have ever seen that video. Yeah, but I think it's more Anderson. He's a big hanging out with celebrities. Yeah, I think well, it's more about I know uh, which, prestige. Yeah. But and, 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 I'd like to see that. I'd like to see Usher maybe a yeah, video of him. I, I don't, I, okay, I, here's I, one that no. makes me makes me laugh a little. Wiz Khalifa, right? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> he j apparently just he started with Regan, and he's a white belt. It's pretty cool. I, 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 again, these might be old. Here's one that popped out of me, and I saw a picture of it. The Crocodile Hunter. Remember Steve Irwin? Yeah, he trained. Apparently he trained 
uh, with, and and he was he was like a constant. Really? Training. Yeah. Wow. I know his right now. His son is doing his show. Yeah, it's cra- It's crazy. It's it's insane. But that's pretty cool. I think Steve Irwin training. I mean, you got to if you're wrestling crocodiles. And and I really like that. I like that Steve Irwin. Uh, I because he died unfortunately, and I have a terrible joke that I won't tell, uh, considering uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> You should have trained more. No, that's terrible. Uh, but you know, he could have. He could have. His, his, his son actually is taking over. The oh, I feel terrible after saying that. I love Steve Irwin. Yo, we've got double alarms. <laughs> uh, here's one that I I thoroughly enjoy because I, I a lot of people like her movies. A lot of people don't like her movies. Mila Jojovich. Jovovich. Jovovich. Joe, you know the girl from the Fifth Element and Resident Evil movies. Yes. Apparently, she trains, and I can see that. I can see her you know, doing that because she does yeah, a lot yeah, of her, yeah, yeah. and there's a lot of head scissors and arm bars. I've seen her do that stuff before, which is really cool. Uh, Jonathan Lipnicki, do you know that no. name? Okay, do you remember the movie Jerry Maguire mm, with Tom yeah. Cruise and oh, what's that? Show Cuba me Goody. the money. Yes. Okay, there's a little kid in that with huge glasses. That's who ended him? up doing? Who ended up making uh, Stuart Little or something? Oh. He grew up and just started training MMA. So he actually does jujitsu, kickboxing, Muay Thai boxing, and he's apparently he's a purple belt now. Wow. Uh, so it's pretty cool. This is the best way to work out. Yeah. Just do just do jujitsu yeah. and Muay Thai, which is really cool. Um, here's another one. Prince Jackson, Michael Jackson's oldest son, what? trains jujitsu. No jiu-jitsu. way. Yeah, trains jujitsu. Which is really what cool. What does he look like now? Actually? Uh, uh, not like Michael Jackson, probably. Not at all. Yeah. Or maybe he does. He's white. Um, uh, Clark Gregg. You know who Clark Gregg was? No. Okay, Agent Phil from the Marvel movies. The guy from. No way. Yes, he yeah. is a brown belt. Oh, that's what that does. He, uh, he, shot, he he's name? got the Captain America trading yeah, cards yeah. as Captain America. Whoa, he's like a him. brown belt. What? He's a brown belt. He might even be a black belt. I'm not even sure, according to this list, because I don't know the date on this list. Uh, here's one of my favorite. Michael Dudikoff from The American Ninja. No. You remember The American he actually, Ninja? Yeah. He's, he's, he did some training. He possesses great skill. <laughs> That's what the guy said to him. I love that movie. Um, wow, so he's serious still training, huh? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, let's see. I know. Uh, his, I remember his name because it's Dudikoff. <laughs> Michael Dudikoff. <laughs> Dudikoff. <laughs> Demi Sorry, Lovato. De- Demi Lovato. Yeah, we love Michael Dudikoff. If he's, <laughs> if he's around, he can stop by the gym and he's, get free lessons. He's look like now. He's going to uh, be old. Man. Hell, all these celebrities can stop by and get free lessons. I just want a damn autograph and a picture. <laughs> oh! <laughs> um, Demi Lovato we spoke of. Uh, who else is... Uh, any weird... Mario Lopez? Get out of here. Freaking, uh-huh. Mario Lopez is he freaking always, A.C. Slater. But you know what? He's always looking fit. He's always into working out. You could tell that. That's true. I can see it. I That's true. See it. That's true. Um, let's see. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal. I've seen him rolling with... Who was it? You a female what? on I, I YouTube. I think you're right. And I think I saw him rolling with somebody else, a smaller person. Yeah. A guy, yeah. I think. yeah. So that's pretty cool. He's a big guy. He's a guy. big guy, yeah. too. Okay, this one bothers me because I love the movie The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke. Yeah. One of my favorite movies of all time. If you ever get a chance to go see The Wrestler, go see The Wrestler. It's great. But if you haven't seen um, uh, Mr. Mister Rourke, he's looking haggard. He's had so much surgery done. But all the punches in the face he took from Yeah, boxing. but he, like, he really... Just screwed he did up that. His he face. went into boxing. He should have messed up. And he face. actually did That's a boxing fight a couple of years ago, and, yeah. and he ended up winning it. But you could see it was a bit of a, a, a schmaz. Like a, they, they, they kind, kind of gave, gave it to him, him. Yeah, and he, him. he hit the guy, and the guy dropped, and it was very strange. It was very strange. Um, but apparently, he he trains and has a blue belt under Eddie Bravo. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, anybody got video of that? Please send it. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, the Black Widow. How could you get past her guard? Like I would never be able to pass it. Why I'd be would like, you I'm want sorry, to? I can't Hi-oh. pass it. Oh. <laughs> I'd be like, please, um, I, I need help here. You sure do. And if she went to open guard, <laughs> exactly. I'd be like, um, yeah. Let's see how long this one is. Yeah. Oh, this one's interesting. <laughs> uh, Robert Downey Jr. He, yes. Apparently, he started training. But Wing he, Chun. He does Wing Chun. He does Wing Chun. That's what this says. But apparently, he, he started... Uh, BJJ. Yeah. He, 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 thank you. And that was not a sound effect. Uh, 
Uh, oh, look at that. Um, okay, why would this not even... Of course Donnie Yen the trains jiu-jitsu and oh it's a purple belt. And he's a kung fu master. Yeah, it's freaking Ip Man, of course. Oh, my uh, God. Vin Diesel. All right. Uh, doesn't say how long he's been training, but apparently he's been training a while. I think they've touched through it. I don't know if they stick, you know. I guess oh, when they get I, the belt. They don't have the time. They don't have the time, you know. Yeah, hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna fucking uh, pull the door. Right, that's our. Yeah, you know, that's People how we do it. Up. That's fine. <laughs> pull the door. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> uh, what she said? Dave Batista. That's what she said. Dave Yo, Batista. Uh, I can see that. What's his name from uh, the, the Guardians the, of the Galaxy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Purple belt, Caesar Gracie. All right. So yeah, we just want get out of here. The Undertaker has a black belt in jujitsu. I'm gonna research that. Wow. You know, it's funny that. I'm going to uh, research Bautista, that. Bautista, I've seen the video of him getting... Uh, he got whipped. He got whipped, yeah, yeah he and he whipped. just walks through. And he, yeah. he did MMA. Yeah. But this one is big. a little strange. It said Mark Calloway, and I know who Mark Calloway is. If you don't know who Mark Calloway is, he's the WWE superstar known as The Undertaker. That's what he said. And apparently he got his black belt under Hulls Gracie, which is insane. That's our... That's really? one of our... Yeah, yeah, one of our members. Um, so I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little... Uh, I don't know if that's true. I will research that and get back to you guys on that. But yeah. it'd be cool because he does use jujitsu in in, in in the wrestling. He does. He has a he does mm. a gogo plata, which is his finisher. He calls it Hell's Gate. Oh. So it could be he does know. There's a lot of things that holds Gracie. Um, I'm not insulting him, but there was a lot of there's a lot of things like when he gave Rashad Evans his black belt. I think was it Rashad Evans? Are you talking about Holes? Holes, yeah, Holes Gracie. Oh, Holes. His, the, you know the, the he he's uh, Henzo's. Henzo's him, yeah. yeah. How does it actually happen? You knew him well years ago. Yeah. So apparently he gave the Undertaker his black belt. I don't know. Um, Rashad Evans got his black belt. People were in uproar because he never Trained. wore a gi. No, he trains, but right. he never wore a gi. So, well, uh, it's politics. That's, I don't yeah. want to get into. Yeah, the politics. we don't care. <laughs> we don't care. But that's pretty cool. If the Undertaker is a black belt, I challenge the Undertaker to come on into my gym and we will. This roll. is a big mofo, though. I know. I know. I will tap immediately. I'll sell it. <laughs> I'll do the job if you will. He's uh, a big guy. Yeah. you can see he's a big guy. Yeah. Then, you but know that's what? pretty cool. Uh, how many celebrities train jujitsu? That's pretty cool. I think. Um, I think more people should train jiu-jitsu, uh, specifically people that um, need that kind of centering in their lives. I think it's a great form. My mother it's a great hated me. <laughs> it's not even that, man. Like, here's the thing, right? I, I have students that say, man, I had a terrible day at work. After training, though, I feel amazing. Yeah. Or I'm having a hard time at home, but after training, I feel amazing. And I can say the same for myself, you know, for the past... God knows how many years I've had good days, oh, bad yeah. days, oh, yeah. and then when I come to the gym, I forget about it because yeah. everything is left at the door. You know, a lot of a lot of the stress you leave at the door. You come inside, you see your training buddies, and you know you kind of forget about whatever's going on, no matter how crazy things That's get. True. Leave the world outside. This is why it's therapy for us. Yeah, it really is, and it's cool to see a lot of celebrities do it. And uh, so, guys, I guess. We're going to end it here. Just want to do a quick show for you guys. And we will end it. And I hope I don't get sued for using this song to end we the show. We don't own the rights. Not at all. <laughs> Have a good one. Happy yeah. holidays. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. I think that was very loud. <laughs>